hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this uh very cute um football keychain and what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a key ring and a brown yarn and white yarn and also you're gonna need a crochet hook which is 2.25 millimeters so let's get started uh we're going to start with the brown yarn and uh, we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do a magic ring and then do one two three four five and six Okay, and then I'm going to close the gap like that <clears throat> okay and then I'm going to slip stitch here at the beginning so I'm going to do a slip stitch okay and put my yarn over here so that we start to the second row Okay, so after that, uh, in the second row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch, and repeat that uh, three times for a total of nine single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet, and then increase in the next stitch. So okay, so we're going to do two single crochet here. So one, and then in the same stitch repeat another single crochet so two okay and then we're going to repeat that one, uh, two more times so single crochet and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet and the next stitch Okay, and then repeat that again one more time so you're going to do single crochet and increase in the last stitch okay so uh, when you get to the end uh, in our row three we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase in the next one and repeat that again single crochet in the next two stitches and increase so we're going to do single crochet one then single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet okay so repeat that again so you're going to do two uh, single crochet in the next two stitches single crochet single crochet and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time uh, single crochet in the next two stitches and increase in the last one okay so after you get to the end in this row we, you're going to change to the white yarn and we're going to use the white yarn for the next two rows so in this row, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches, then increase in the next and repeat that uh, three times for a total of 15 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet in the third stitch. Okay, then increase in the next stitch. So we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then you're going to repeat that again single crochet in the next three stitches so single crochet single crochet and single crochet then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay so and then you're going to repeat that one more time so you're going to do uh, three single crochet and increase in the last stitch at the end Okay, so after you're done with that uh, in our next row, which is our fifth row 
we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches then increase in the next and repeat that three times for a total of 18 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four and then increase in the next stitch going to increase okay so and then you're going to repeat that uh, two more times so you're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches increase in the fifth until you reach here at the end for a total of 18 stitches so after you, uh, we're done with our row five uh, in our row six you're going to switch back again to the brown yarn and uh, we're going to continue with that so you're going to do in the next row which is our row six we are going to do single crochet in the next five stitches then increase in the next and repeat that uh, three times for a total of 21 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four and single crochet five then increase in the next stitch so increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that two more times so single crochet in the next five stitches increase and repeat until the end for a total of 21 stitches Okay, so after that uh, in our seventh row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next uh, six stitches then increase in the next and repeat that three times for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five and six okay and then we're going to increase in the seventh stitch so we're going to increase we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat that again so you're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches then increase in the next stitch and repeat that two more times until the end so after you're done with that uh in our next row uh rows which is row 8 until row 13 uh we're going to do single crochet all the way around uh for a total of 24 stitches in each row so for the next six rows you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches in each row so that is row 8 until row 13 okay so you're going to do single crochet like that single crochet single crochet okay so I'll see you when you're done with your row 13 so that I show you how to do the next row okay so after you're done with your row 13 in our 14th row we're going to start decreasing and we're going to continue with the brown yarn with the brown yarn so in the 14th row we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches then decrease and repeat that three times I mean repeat that again for a, uh, three times for a total of 21 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five Six, okay and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then go in the front loop of the next stitch and then pull through and pull through all the three stitches okay so you're going to repeat that again two times so you're going to do six single crochet decrease in the next two stitches and repeat that again until the end for a total of 21 stitches 
Okay, so after you've done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our 15th row, we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches, then decrease in the next two stitches, and repeat that three times for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, four, five, and then decrease in the next two stitches. So you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch, pull through, and then go in the front loop of the next stitch, pull through, and then pull through all the three. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again two times. So five single crochet, decrease, and repeat that again until the end for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next two rows, we are going to use the white yarn. So uh, you should change the white yarn. And uh, in our 16th row, we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches, then decrease in the next, and then repeat that three times for a total of 15 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet. One. Single crochet, two, single crochet, three, and then single crochet, four, and decrease in the next two stitches. So you're going to go in the first stitch, pull through, go in the next stitch, pull through, and pull through all the three. Okay, so you're going to repeat that uh, two more times uh, all the way around until here at the end. So after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, uh, which is our 17th row, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches, then decrease in the next two stitches, and repeat that three times for a total of uh, 12 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, and then another one, single crochet, three okay and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop of the first stitch pull through and then the next pull through and pull through all the three okay so you're going to repeat that again two more times so single crochet in the next three stitches decrease and repeat until the end so after you're done with this row uh, make sure you stuff your ball as we go on and then after you finish with this row also we're going to change back again to the brown yarn okay so after you finish stuffing uh, and changing back to the brown yarn so this is how it's supposed to look like so in our next row uh, which is our row 18 we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then decrease in the next, and repeat that uh, three times for a total of nine stitches. Okay, so uh, we're going to go in the next uh, in our stitch and do single crochet one, and then single crochet two, and then decrease in the next two stitches. So I'm going to go in the front loop of my next stitch, pull through, and the front loop of the next stitch. Then again, pull through, and then I'm going to pull through all the three together. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again. So you're going to do a uh, two single crochet, a uh, single crochet in the next two stitches, then decrease and repeat uh, until the end for a total of nine stitches. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our next row, 19th row, which is our last row, we are going to do single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease, until the end for a total of six uh, stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, and then decrease in the next stitch. We're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch. So it's a little bit tricky pull through and then front loop of the next stitch 
go through okay so you're going to repeat that again so you're going to do single crochet on the next stitch and then decrease in the next two stitches Okay, and then you're going to repeat that one more time so you're going to do single crochet and then decrease in the last two stitches and when you're done you're going to cut your yarn and then I'll show you how to finish it up okay so guys after you're done the finishing is quite easy so uh, what you do you're gonna use your needle and uh, the white yarn so I use this one this kind of needle the big one so this is the one that I use and I use a uh, double yarn so I use the needle to make these two lines so what you do you make two lines at the bottom and I mean two small lines at the bottom so this one and this one and then there's one uh, longer line in the middle and then two shorter lines at the end so they're supposed to be one two three four five five lines so two uh, two shorter lines in the bottom and two shorter at the top and one longer line at the top so this is how it should look like okay so you can make yours to look a little bit more neater so uh, just like mine and then I attach the key ring over here so I'm just gonna use it uh, for my keys or you can attach it to your bag or uh, wherever that you like so I hope you enjoyed this uh, very cute uh, short pattern and if you haven't checked out my other videos i also make made another kitchen for the co coffee mag so it's this kind of project is perfect uh especially if you you have a lot of scrap yarn so you can use that so i hope uh please check out my other videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and until next time bye